Okay, so Quick Sheets has changed since I've been using the Remarkable. Initially, Quick Sheets was fixed to the home screen here and you couldn't move it into a file or a folder. That has changed now <clears throat> and there are a couple of things um, that I will just mention about Quick Sheets. So the only difference now, now that it can move anywhere and be renamed, the only difference between a Quick Sheet and a notebook is the settings. There are none. What happens, and of course, I beg your pardon, there's two differences. One, there's no settings. And two, when you add a Quick Sheet, it will keep you in a running document. A document, there's just one Quick Sheet in your home screen. Um, and when you click on, tap on click Quick Sheet, excuse me, you can see it's page one of one. That's because I don't have one currently on my home screen. Um, and so let me just do the, it's going to give me tool tips because I was doing that in the other document. So if I'm, this is such a great pen, this Lamy. And I just wanted to show you, this one is soft, same writing. And this one is beautiful as well. You can see, like, my writing is pretty similar, right? And you can see there's a slight difference between them. And I think the feel, the weight, these are all the reasons why you pick the pen that you use. Um, but anyway, I digress. Let us, where are we going? There's no settings. So you notice that I'll come out and now there'll be a quick sheet here and it's in alphabetical, obviously. Um, and now I'll show you what happens if I add another quick sheet. Now, can you see page two of two down the bottom here? Page, and I'm just going to write on it because it's, it just helps to identify. When we go to the grid view, you can see the first page we did and then there's page two of two. So the biggest difference, you can come into notebook settings now and have a look. It's called quick sheets and that actually, that word is a system identifier. If when you are, let's cancel and go out. When you're out here and you press quick sheets, if you do not have a document that is exactly, got those exact characters and that exact name, then it will create a new document. And then every time you tap it, it will keep putting it in that document. Now, this is what happens if I change the name of it. All right, if I press and hold and I rename, and I call this um, musings, musings. Now, when we go back to the home screen and I add a quick sheet, we're back to page one. And again, it just helps to identify things. And it puts it back here in the folder and now it's syncing with my, my account online. So can you see that name is really important and sometimes you'll wonder where did my quick sheet go? Um, a, a, a brand new quick sheet will always be placed by default into your home directory. Having said that, if this exact name is in a different folder, mm, oh, it's not, we, we changed it, didn't we? When you add quick sheet, it's going to go into find that that document wherever it is now, and it's going to add to it. So the only time that doesn't happen is when you rename this. So this is the key here. The name is the key. All right, so that's a little bit of information. But just remember, you can move it anywhere. As I showed you, we removed it. And you can delete them now. You couldn't delete before. You couldn't move it. You couldn't rename it. You couldn't delete it. Now you can do all of that. Um, and the only difference between the two is when you when you start a notebook, you have to do all the settings, right? But when you start a quick sheet, it takes you straight into a new page. Now, this document already exists, so it's giving me page two. If I, I can pull it up from the bottom and show you. There's page one, there's page two. But if it didn't exist, it would just open up a document and call it, it's called already called Quick Sheet and you're ready to go. So I hope that answers a few questions about Quick Sheets for those that are a little stumped by, a little stumped by. 
Thank you so much.